Well, 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 look at Palantir continues to hit new highs. This is phenomenal market. If every stock acted this way, we all would be multi billionaires because so many people expect stocks to move this direction. That's why they want you to buy and hold. So this is out the norm. So don't expect every play that you guys do to play out this well. If you count this move, I want to say kudos, congratulations. I'm giving you a clap right now because you did a fantastic job at calling this market. But will it continue? Can Palantir still run to 75 bucks? This is a very, very, very strong market. Will it continue to make all time highs? Let's try to figure that out because you're crazy if you're going to say this stock is going to go lower. Where are you getting that indication from off the charts? Look at all of these signals of buying that we received in the market in Palantir since May. We haven't received not one sell signal in the market in Palantir. It's been giving us indication that this stock is a buy. Now, when you are in areas of uncharted territory, the market is making all time highs. You got to be a little bit more cautious, though. This area right here is telling me that the market is holding. Buyers are holding this stock. Every time the market comes down in price, they come back in and buy it up again. So we're not necessarily finished. We're looking at Palantir going higher. But let's just say, don't look for a 500% return from where price currently is now. You needed to expect that move back here in June, May timeframe. Okay, because you're already up 222%. So like, don't expect another 200% run in the market in Palantir as of right now. Next thing I wanted to tell you is that there's a gap right there. Okay. Market does not like gaps and is right here at an area to where the last all time high was tested. So let me show you right here. Okay. That's not by what that's not by coincidence. The market doesn't move off coincidences. This is letting us know that this may come back down and test this area. So I'm just Put it out on your radar now. I'm not saying that it's going to happen next week. I'm not saying it's going to happen in the next three months. But hey, somebody at least gave you a heads up. Be aware of that. Because that's a massive void in Palantir right now. And the market does not like voids. It does not like inefficiencies. It likes to be efficient. So that area, I do suspect it will be tested at some point in time. Okay. Now, let's look at Palantir on the week. Okay. Still look bullish. This week right here is letting you know, hey, the buyers did step up. They came up to the plate at $60 and they hit the ball out the part because the market ended up higher. Palantir on the two weeks. Okay. We saw the market dip over the last two weeks, came all the way back and close at the high of the bar. Here it is on the three. Again, market is telling us what the market wants to do. Bye bye. Market goes up. What about on the three? Pound here on the monthly chart. Even on the month. Like, come on. Last month of November. Bye. So we may see the market go higher. My only issue, I don't know how high it's going to go. So you might have to drop a Fibonacci retracement down on your chart to see where you think the market is headed because we are in uncharted territory. We don't know where the market is going to flip and say, look, this thing is expensive. I'm about to sell at a profit and I'm about to go. We have wrung out all of the juice that is within this fruit. We're expecting it to dry out and I don't know when it's going to happen. Okay. So as of this particular moment though, Hey, this stock is bullish. Look, look at this on the six months. We have one more month left before this six month bar ends. 
and look at how strong Palantir looks on the six months chart. Let me show you the 12 months. Look at that. When you look at this on the 12 months, you can say, hey, $75 may not even be a problem over the next 12 months for us to see Palantir hit. That's like another 12% move. That's nothing compared to 290% in the first 12 months of 2024. Like, come on. This has been a fantastic year for you if you purchased Palantir in the beginning of this year because you're up 290% so far. We started out at $16.95 in Palantir. And here it is today, $67.08. So now, let me go back to the daily because we are expecting some upward momentum to continue. But we will first draw the territory of where we don't want to see the market break. Okay. That pocket right there of buying. We definitely don't want to see the market give up control of that buyer's pocket. The buyers need to hold that level. Let's say they, they don't. Let's see if we can do another area. Okay. So my next area would be here. This would be our next pocket. Now, $75 in around $75, $12.50. Like I said, I don't know how high it's going to go. It's up to you to, you know, come up with your own strategy, your however you maneuver, however you could come up with, okay, I think the market's going to run up to this particular level. Because when you're in this particular stratosphere, in the atmosphere, you have I don't know. We are in uncharted territory. When you're in an area that we haven't placed our foot on, price has never traded here before, people become, let's just say, a little bit more erratic. Okay. Now we'll tell you this though. The chart will tell you when the high is in, right? You would see a volume that is high like this that stands out that is huge that you cannot miss on top of a weakness price bar okay i will give you that we haven't seen that yet so we're going to continue to look for palantir to continue to go higher anywhere in this profit area i would have to say now i want you to tell me though where you think it's headed at what price? Some may say $100. Cool. We might see $200. I don't know. But what do you know? Tell me. Make sure you maintain profit. And as always, trade different.